over here. I'm gonna pick up Bob Swiderski and head over to Fargo. Bob's a great guy. He has given his heart and soul to survivors groups and survivors advocacy. He's a great man. Videos are really the way to go. Morning, Bob. I'm anxious. This is an important day for the uh, Raymond Rose victims. Yep. Um, Pat, I don't know if you noticed or not, but we uh, just went by that sign that said the VA hospital in St. Cloud. Yeah. Um, back in, in the time where I was trying to come to grips with why I was doing all this stupid stuff from uh, the sexual abuse issue. Uh, I had gotten a DWI, and because I'm a veteran, uh, I went there for treatment. There was a Dr. Brown, chief mental health uh, doctor at the VA clinic, who heard about this problem guy and this story that he was, was telling. So uh, I was asked to meet with him. Uh, he was one of the doctors in the VA system across the country that knew that the VA needed to have post-traumatic stress disorder programs to treat the vets. Uh, and he had one just getting started in St. Cloud, so he put me in to that new program that he had. And from there, I was able to talk with mental health professionals that identified uh, problems that I was having in life, which were all post-traumatic stress uh, related. Um, and because I'm also a combat vet, um, it was a nice fit for me because of the other guys that were in the, in the session. Um, but I also realized that there's certain things I could do to correct my life um, through recognition uh, uh, of the injuries that I had uh, and relate some of that to the trauma that a person realizes from combat or uh, the, some of the issues with some of the other guys in there. So I was very lucky to have a mental health professional in the early 90s equate the trauma that I had as a child with the same psychological problems many combat veterans are, were having with the trauma that they faced. Okay, we're outside the uh, Cass County Courthouse. As you can see in the background, what we're going to do is meet our local lawyer and uh, grab our stuff and go in and file this lawsuit. Sal. At De La Salle, and what happened then is his brother Rose was instead of 
calling the police and having a prosecutor for sexually abusing a child. What they did was they just moved him from De La Salle over to a, a Cretan High School in, in St. Paul, which was not that far away. Um, uh, similar, he, he, Brother Rose abused children, again, at Cretan High School, um, and he was kind of moved out to a retreat center called Dunroven Retreat Center, which is in Stillwater, Minnesota. After he finished, and while he was there, he served in, in different capacities at different churches in Wisconsin. Um, he was then moved to Shanley High School in 1976, which is then the substance of this lawsuit here today. Now, uh, damages, what are you seeking here? Well, we're seeking uh, accountability, for first of all, and we're, the second thing we're seeking is prevention. Let me explain. Accountability, every single one of my clients has asked me one thing, what happened? They want to know what happened, and they want to know how it could have happened. We're in the process of, of getting those answers for them. The, the, every indication is that, is that Brother Rose was an incredibly prolific child molester. And what he did is he approached kids, he didn't go through a grooming process, he didn't take time to do that, he just identified the child and went after him. Uh, that tells us, that makes him an incredibly dangerous man, and that tells us that there are, I'm sure, many, many other victims out there that need some help. So if they need some help, we need to get them the help. What are all these cases being, um, you know, coming up in civil court? Is there a statute of limitations on criminal charges? Or? Well, I know, I mean, I think it's still an active criminal, there is an active criminal investigation partial here of the Brother Rose. So this is, that's the part between the police and the prosecutors. <laughs> there have been any big criminal charges? I don't, not to my knowledge, no, not to my knowledge. Because, because that's what needs to happen. We need Brother Raymond needs to go to jail. Put on sex offender registry list. And I'll tell you the reason why. Brother Raymond, right now, is living in Chicago, Illinois, right across from the all boys school, the Sal Institute. And he is under no supervision. He is not being watched. He is not being uh, in any way tracked. Uh, and in fact, he has, we understand, he has some kind of relationship with the school there. It's not real clear exactly what it is. I mean, this is about a kid that got hurt in, in high school, 14 years old. And you know, you've seen this picture in here. You've seen the 14-year-old boy, you know, in this right here. This, this man was a very courageous man. He's the first person to come over in the park, using his name, and, and, and learn to call out Brother Rose over here. It takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of courage. His mother still lives here. And I think that most people will join me and appreciate how courageous this young man is. My name is Bob Sturzy. The, the other issue you have for the, for the families of farmers is if this known sexual abuse happened in the 70s, let's make sure that your children today don't have to live with those same consequences. So let's hope the institutions that are taking care of your children are a lot more vigilant and they stop the sexual abuse if it's been reported. That's the other part of what David is saying about not that it happened. We're just not talking about those that were here then. We're talking about the society. Raymond Rose has attacked kids across the whole Midwest. Every place he attacked kids, that institution should have known if they were not informed, they should have known. Five schools before they dropped them on the families and children of Fargo. Five Christian brothers. All right, we just finished our press conference. We're gonna pull out of here and head home. It looks like it was a lot of success. We'll have to have to just see. Gotta be. All right, we're on our way back from Fargo. As you can see, it's raining, but it's kind of pretty. We had a good day here. Hopefully we get some uh, kids and they're safer today than they were yesterday.